what is going on guys welcome back to the channel critical overlord here so this will be another scream six video here today talking about sydney prescott's alleged canceled role even further diving into what the curses might have actually had planned for sydney according to more reliable sources that i always talk to about scream and maybe some other stuff will come out that will back up what i'm saying but until then this is all you have if something comes out in the future to back up what i'm saying then you can reference this video at that point saying that I was right. But as far as what I know from them, because I trust them, Sydney Prescott, well, the Kirsches, Baileys, whatever you again want to call those three crazy people, they had plans for Miss Prescott. Because in the past, I put out a video titled Sydney's Alleged Cancel Role for Scream 6. And this is basically just a sequel to that video. I'll link the original in the description if you want to check that out first. Um, I'm mostly just going to address Richie's family's plans for Sydney here in this video. So in that original video, I did make it known that Sydney allegedly shows up during Scream 6's finale to save Sam and Tara because she views them as family now. So it would appear though that she wasn't even going to be in the finale. She still appeared at some point in New York for the same general reasons, uh, wanting to help out her friends viewing Sam and Tara's family now. But something happened that something must have happened because she's not here for the finale. She ends up leaving New York after she arrived. So what when, What happened? What caused her to leave? She leaves, apparently, allegedly, and then she goes into hiding with her family. Whereas opposed to the movie we actually got, she just went into hiding, didn't even bother coming to New York, which to me sounds a lot more like Sydney. Sydney showing up and then deciding to go into hiding secondary? No, I, I, I just can't, I can't buy it. I can't I can't buy it. I, I just can't. So here's what would have went on in that finale that would have told us what the Kirsch's Bailey's plans would have been for Miss Prescott. They apparently were going to tell Sam and Tara they would have let it be known during that finale because, again, Sydney is still absent here. She's not she's not even in this finale at this point in the film. She's already dipped and left town and gone into hiding with her loved ones. So ba the Baileys would have let Sam and Tara know once they finish these two girls off, they intend to track Sydney down at her hiding spot and proceed to take away the things she loves most, her family. They would have knocked off her kids, knocked off her husband, and then they would have knocked her ass off. So that, to me, sounds very sick in terms of a way you could end Sydney Prescott's story. Now, obviously, they wouldn't have gotten away with it uh, because they, they weren't going to make it out of Scream 6 alive anyway. But just the sheer thought of something like that happening to one of my favorite final girls, that sounds terrible, a terrible way to go. And how how dare you think you can get away with that, uh, Bailey's? You can't get away with that. Now, so they were going to kill the kids, I'm assuming, first, knock off Mark and then knock off Sydney. My thing, though, is how are you going to who are they going to frame? Imagine this. What if they would have framed Sydney for this? That's even more sick. That's like the cherry on top of this sick pie that you want to serve up here. So these killers had plans for Sydney. And I'm curious what made her leave New York, because she definitely shows up since the killers since the killers plan to go after her. And not only that, because the crew themselves, the creative crew, whether it be the writers or Radio Silence, they've let it be known that something shifted when Nev left. This is kind of some of that alleged shift because the killers would have had bits of dialogue that recognized that they intended to go after Sydney and kill her, kill her family, but not kill her first. They're going to kill her family, make her watch and then kill her. Very sick. I will say this, though. I still don't like it. I don't like it because it's still coming off as though she's willingly throwing herself into this. She's throwing herself into the lion's den for what reason? Just because she's Sydney Prescott, just because you want to have her here as like a box office attraction. And then this is what we get. It's like, no, I'm, I, I don't want to see this. I want to see an arc for Miss Prescott. I don't want to see her just showing up, helping other people solve this crime and then dipping because she's like, you know, I've been through this five times in the past. I'll just keep on showing up every time another one happens because, you know, I, this is what I do best. No, you don't have to turn her into that type of character. Admit that her story is over or come up with something new for her. Except that maybe you just aren't the appropriate person to be telling any new stories about Sydney. Leave her be. But again, the, the other alleged bit that I shared in one of my other videos, the original video I did talking about her alleged canceled role was that she wasn't even a part of the drafts originally, apparently. Somebody, I'm assuming this must have been Spyglass, 
wanted her to be included so she was written in last minute and then they failed to secure her to secure her return which ultimately led to them using the draft that they had anyway which didn't have sydney in it but we know that again drafts exist they do have her inclusion and allegedly she would have shown up in new york but she would have abandoned ship sometime before the finale and taken herself and her family into hiding and then the Kirsch's baileys again whatever you want to call those sick ass fucks they would have told sam and tara after they are done here they're gonna track her down kill her family and then kill her i really would just have loved to if, if we even got something like this i would have always been pondering who are you gonna frame it on i'm i'm, I'm leaning on they would have framed it on sydney who else would they have framed it on uh, fr framing it on Marker Force would work, but I think the cherry on top of it all would have been them framing it on Sydney. And then you might be asking yourself, well, why are they going after Sydney? Shit, they already told us in the finale itself in the film we got. Anyone who had anything to do with the death of my son is going to have to suffer. And then Quinn chimes in, fuck yeah, they do. <laughs> That's why Sydney is a target, because she has something to do with the death of Richie. Sure, you can look at Scream 6 and say it doesn't make any sense why they didn't go after Sydney because she she has something to do with richie's death too but at the same time it really isn't all that necessary for them to go after her the one who directly has something to do with it was sam and the people they want to hurt are the people closest to sam which in this point in time if we're in new york is going to be gail weathers and all of sam and tara's friends so they accomplished their goal sydney was just a loose thread that you could have either explored or not explored they chose to not explore it based on the final product we got for scream six now again something i'm assuming should come out soon to back up this alleged role that i'm telling you or these alleged plans that the kirsch's had for sydney but if it doesn't it just doesn't you don't have to believe it i'm not asking you to believe it i'm telling you it's coming from a reliable source that i trust they've been right about a lot of stuff in the past and if there's no substantial evidence that ever comes out so be it you guys let me know what you think about this down in the comment section below if you haven't already of course make sure you subscribe turn on post notifications so you never miss a video in the description i'll have links on my social media accounts i am on facebook twitter and instagram you can message me there of course let me know any movies news or reviews you like me to cover in the future and with all that in mind guys i will see you in the next video